Good evening and Happy New Year soon approaches. I'm so happy you could be with me tonight. And I have a little thing I want to talk to about talk about tonight. Uh, New Year's resolutions. I was thinking about this earlier today, and I think the reason that most people fail with New Year's resolutions is they really don't put enough energy into it to manifest them. What I want to suggest is that you do instead is write down your wish list of things you want in the new year, things you want to do, things you want to get, places you want to go. Set your intentions to have these things, and let's start manifesting them. You want to write down your statements of what you want in very positive terms. Don't talk about what you don't want. Talk about what you do want. Write it down. Be very positive. Think about it. Look at your list every day. If you are one who is into crystals or perhaps crystal skulls, program these intentions in your crystals and meditate with them. Visit with them every day. Visualize what you want. Be very specific. Be very clear. And picture it in your mind as clearly as you can. Pretend you are right there with it. And then be grateful. Imagine you already have what you've asked for and give thanks for having it already. You are going to talk it, wish it, believe it into reality. Focus, concentrate, meditate on it, you know, put energy into it every day. See what kind of a difference that makes. Good luck and I hope you do well with that. I see we have a caller. Is that Jolie? Do you have a question for me tonight? Well, I thought I'd just leave it up to you. (laughs) Oh, okay. So just kind of a general reading. If you do have a question, uh, I'd write on that. General, but the the most important would be career. Okay. Okay. Career. That's going (laughs) to be a big one for a lot of people this year. Yeah. I feel like a lot of folks are kind of at an impasse right now, and you as well. I want you to reflect on what you want instead of what you don't want. Ask the universe for your perfect job, what it is that you want to do, making as much or more money than you are now, perhaps more than you've ever made, and doing something you love, and having the schedule that you want, whether that be, you know, in an office or working outdoors or working remote 100% of the time. Just think about what it is you really want. Put it out there. Tell the universe, I want This kind of job that pays this much money where I can have the schedule that I want, define your schedule, and just give thanks for already having it. Make that a goal. Yes, indeed. Think think very clearly about what it is you want, and then you'll be surprised at how many job postings you start seeing that are much closer to it than you thought you'd ever find. Once you start looking and you put out there what you're looking for, you'll start finding it. And then you have the fun part of making the choice between several. So that's kind of a a fun way to do it. Set a determination and and go for it. Hit the ground running and don't let up for anything. I I feel like you're going to be uh, perhaps changing direction looking to new horizons, doing something different that's going to stretch and grow you, uh, take you places maybe you've never been before. It might might require some travel. If you're really into travel, make sure you put that in your intentions, that you want a job where you travel as much or as little as you choose to the destinations that you choose. 
you don't want to get sent places you don't enjoy going, you know, so put that in those intentions as to what kind of travel you have in mind. What do you like? Yeah. Open, open yourself up to imagine the things that you want. What would they feel like? What would you feel like if you had them? Concentrate on that to help motivate you, help Program your mind to look for these things, to notice little things you might have overlooked before that could be a clue that leads you in the right direction. And go ahead and take that first step. You don't have to wait till January 1. Start thinking about it now. You want it in the new year. You know, set a goal for you want it in three months, four months, five months, six months. You know, set a date and work towards that and then just relax and and be open to the possibilities okay i'm thinking you're going to want to do something to kind of clear i'm hearing clear the clutter clear the way uh, self-care you know soak in the tub relax pamper yourself a little and let your mind loose dream just just let it roam and see what kind of things you come up with uh pay attention to your dreams you may if you don't already keep a dream journal you might want to start one and have that by your bedside when you wake up in the morning whatever you remember write it down before you forget and then go back and revisit those and and see what kind of inspiration you're getting go with those and let those either give you new ideas or motivate you to pursue dreams you already have. I'm definitely, definitely. Yeah. feeling you're you're <laughs> going to be doing some sort of traveling, uh perhaps yeah. light in the future, not 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 too far in the future, but you know, maybe some weekend trips, maybe maybe you're thinking about a move to another city. You might want to take a short drive and see what's there. Uh, if it's further away, you might plan on visiting someplace before you decide to pack up and move. Uh, I just feel like there's there's definitely a change coming and either traveling more or perhaps even moving to that new city. Um, That's possible. Yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> know, know your territory. You know, get to know okay. the area that you're you're thinking about visiting. Um, check for anything special you might need. If you have a, a special diet, or if there are particular mm. uh, types of stores or restaurants you like to be close to, check to see where they are. Um, Just get to know, get to know the lay of the land. Get to know if you would feel comfortable there or not before making a big decision, like to to move or to spend a long time in one place. Um, I agree. Yes, definitely. Definitely, you know, look look for the things that give you joy. Focus on finding those things instead of running away from what you don't like or you're tired of yeah absolutely you're going to do that at some point but focus on the positive run towards your joy and your passion let that be your motivation and not just trying to escape because if you're just trying to escape you may settle for less than what you really want so be careful right. about that exactly um i feel like you're you're looking for your new sanctuary a place that feels safe. It feels like home. It's comfortable. You you feel like it's a less challenging environment, something that is less stressful. It's out there. Keep your eyes open. Believe it is there. Believe you will find it and start looking for the clues as to where that is if you don't already know. Okay. I think you're going to find a lot of things that give you an opportunity to expand this year, this coming year. 
expand your career, expand your hobbies, expand your all your horizons. I see you meeting new people, and I think this is going to be a breath of fresh air. Don't lose touch with loved ones. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you. Out. But uh, be picky. If it doesn't bring you joy, don't spend much time on it. You know, just check it out. And it's like, okay, this is fine, but this isn't it. And move on. Find the next thing. Don't get fogged in. You know, if things aren't happening soon enough, just know it's divine right timing. The things that you need will show up when you need them. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. All right. Well, I want to thank you very much for calling and have a happy and prosperous new year. Good luck to you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next year.